Okay, now, before you fly, it's important that you update the uh, firmware in the craft, uh, because what we'll be doing is you're going to be turning your Inspire into an Inspire Pro. So, first thing to do, obviously, uh, is check the, the firmwares that you're going to be needing. So, if you just tap on your status, you're going to get a wee bar like that saying, Update Required, and then it'll give you a list. Now, depending on whether your craft or controller needed an update anyway, uh, you may have some or none or, or just the uh, camera gimbal update or aircraft update so in this case we've got the controller which we can do through the app but the rest of them need to be actually done through the camera so uh, there's two things you need to do the first thing if you go onto the DJI website and download the latest firmware now you can either go onto the X5 listing and then downloads or onto the Inspire Pro and downloads uh, two ways of doing it is either with a USB adapter so you would download the firmware. Uh, best to always format your card first, uh, unzip the file, it's a bin file, put it onto an SD card, obviously, which is on your adapter. And then if I turn the craft off, what you need to do is in this little flap here, you've got two sockets, you've got an SD socket and you've got the uh, a USB socket. So there's two ways of doing it. You can either put it on the, um, the SD card and then the SD card goes into the socket and then it's just a case of turning the craft on or what I prefer to do is using a USB lead the typical sort of standard Android USB lead is to plug it into the camera and then into your computer and then you can actually drag the file straight into the into the camera and that way it eliminates a lot of problems people have with USB adapters I use the Lexar one which is obviously what DJI use and that seems to be okay Right, so I've inserted the SD card uh, into the camera. Now we're just going to power on and let that do its update. Addy mode. Addy mode. Now you hear those continuous beeps, that's the Spotify microphone there. You'll hear the continuous beeps and that's it starting its uh, uh, firmware update. Um, you can't see it in the shot, but the LED that's on the front of the camera is now flashing red and green. And now you've got your four beeps in a row, that's it now into the actual firmware update now. And it'll take a good, it'll take a good sort of 20 minutes to complete. Okay, while the craft is updating, we can actually update the controller while we wait, because this is done independently. So you'll see at the top there it says, uh, RC requires update download firmware, because you can actually, you update the controller before you used to update it through the USB, uh, sorry, through the SD card, uh, but now you can actually just download it straight to the app and then down, um, upload it from there. So you see it's now starting to download, and we just need to wait till that finishes. Okay now, so the firmware is is downloaded for the controller um, and the craft has also finished its update so you can now see that all the updates, for example, battery, camera and craft, they've all now disappeared and we're just left with the RC. So we've downloaded it and it's just a simple case of start the upgrading process. Now the craft took at least, I think it was about half an hour to update, now the controller tends to, well as you see there, that was incredibly quick because that's it now updated. So if we go back here now, if you click on there, as you can see, everyone's up to date. The reason why that still shows an update required is what you would actually need to do is actually just restart the craft, then these will all go. Now, just one other thing is when you ever do up, uh, firmware updates, um, this is not necessary, it's just a kind of recommendation is to, um, is to recalibrate the IMU. So if you come into the, the quadcopter logo and what you're looking for is sensors, and then that's all your IMU data. What the IMU, da IMU is, is the internal measurement unit. That is what tells the craft what is flat and level, etc. So to calibrate it, you just come down to the bottom, click on IMU calibration. It's just saying, yeah, do you want to do it? It'll take five to 10 minutes, okay. And then basically away you go. Now, here's the important part. You must not move or bump the model while it's updating. Um, another trick as well, if you want to have a quicker startup time, that's when you 
first turn your model on and up here it'll say craft warming up if you want to speed that warm-up time a little trick is to do is is to get your craft nice and cold so for example if we had done all the firmware updates were all done what to do is leave your craft off for quite a while allow the IMU to cool right down what some pe times people do they'll actually maybe uh, stick the the craft in an air-conditioned room or say in the footwell of the car with the air conditioning on or even stick it out the back door of their house get the IMU really cold and then what you do is you bring it in you get the IMU calibration uh, page all up ready to go and then simply turn the craft on as soon as it's on hit IMU calibration and then what that does is it calibrates the IMU at that temperature which means when the model starts up next time as soon as it gets to that temperature it will be ready to fly so it'll um, um, it'll warm up that bit quicker so if you ever experience long warm-up times that's a wee trick on how to do that okay now that's the uh, calibration now finished you've got calibration finished so that's us pretty much done you're ready to fly if you want to do a compass calibration that's pretty much your call if you want to do that's not really necessary or required as part of this uh, update well, I hope you enjoyed my little uh, upgrading video of the new X5 camera and I hope if you're in the market for one, you'll uh, consider purchasing it from me. I'm an independent DJI retailer from the UK and us little independents, we need your support. And uh, thank you very much. Bye.